Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. The increase in health care costs. Let me show you a graph. This is the Millman Medical Index. And look at the years, 2012 on the far left over to 2016, and the increase in costs of uh, the a annual medical cost for a family of four. For the first time in this country, it has surpassed $25,000. That is the introduction to my interview, and the interview is about a study that's been done by two New Hampshire companies in tandem, uh, a remote uh, patient monitoring study, year-long at-home study of uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania Blue Cross members with chronic diseases, a study by uh, Genia, the LLC of Manchester, and the technology by Medtronics of Portsmouth. It included personalized health care planning. Now, their findings are really significant. They found savings of $8,375 per member annually, for large health plans that could save millions due to fewer acute hospital admissions, 45% fewer admissions in the study. And the uh, monitoring also slowed disease progression. With me to talk about this is Heather Lavoy, Chief Strategy Officer with Genia LLC in Manchester. Thank well, you for having me. Nice to have you here. Um, what led this to your study? Well, more than 8,000 uh, individuals each year in this country are turning age 65. And so we know that there certainly aren't enough caregivers um, to take care of those individuals. And that population also um, wants to be able to convalesce at home. They're typically more active. Um, but we also know that um, chronic disease progresses as people age. And so the health burden is significant. Right. And we needed a way, a more effective way, to help people stay at home and, and, and reduce admissions. And the study was done at home with patients had chronic disease. That's correct. Let's go to one of those examples. Uh, you call him uh, Mr. Jones, he's 75, and he had heart failure. Uh, and uh, the most obvious question is, what did you do for him with this monitoring, let's say that a, the, the um, visiting nurse wouldn't do? Sure. Um, so what we were able to do was um, enroll him in our program. So we assigned um, case managers um, to help him with his care. Um, we went out to the home to help educate him on how to use um, the remote monitoring devices. We did assessments in the home um, to see what the, um, certainly what the prevailing diseases were, right. um, and then also what we might be able to do to help mitigate that. So he had chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Um, he had heart failure. He had diabetes. Yep. Um, he was using supplemental oxygen. So in the home he had um, oxygen with cords running all through the house which put him at risk for fall it also compromised his health in ways that he couldn't his you know his quality of life he couldn't go outside anymore um, and so we were able to bring some of our devices into the home and you've got some devices with you that were key to this, this study just That's hold correct. them up and, and tell me what they are sure um, so the first is a, a patch um, the Zephyr patch mm -hmm. um, and this actually monitors rep respiration rate it does a two um, lead EKG reading. Um, we mm -hmm. can actually do that remotely. Um, it has an accelerometer in it, so we know position, we know movement, we mm -hmm. know speed of movement, so we can tell if someone's been up and around. Um, it uh, will actually measure their heart rate, um, and so we can see if they're compromised in, um, in their movement, yep. certainly in their heart rate. And that's sent to the smartphone that has special software. That's correct. So we then have a smartphone device um, that actually the data transmits wirelessly right to the device right. um, and then our, it also transmits to our nurses um, wirelessly as well um, and it, we run clinical algorithms that then if his, um, his condition starts to go out of range alerts will be sent to the nurse and the nurses will do outreach to him um, to help intervene to provide education to understand what might have caused something. that. And that's that. all secure? All secure yep. so the software on the device is regulated by the FDA the devices are regulated by the FDA and it's all locked down. And the down. amazing thing to me is if there's some patients, it slowed the progression of disease? Uh, significantly. I mean, so we did a full control study, um, and we actually saw the patients within the population that were using um, the devices, and we were monitoring remotely. Um, their disease progression actually was almost flattened. It was only 2% increase in risk as compared to the control population, which was a complete match of that population, and their disease um, risk went up to 31%. And we're out of time. But I know this is being used in Pennsylvania where the study was done, but That's it was correct. done by two New Hampshire companies, your company and uh, the, uh, in Manchester and the company in Portsmouth, Medtronics in Portsmouth. That's correct. And your company here in Manchester, uh, which is uh, Genia LLC. You're the chief strategy officer. Thank you, Heather, very much. For Thank being you for here. having me. I appreciate it. Good luck it. with this. This could save millions of dollars in the healthcare system, right? Absolutely. And keep people at home and happy. Happy.